Today we're going to look at using Bezier curves and laving so that we can make rotational objects based on paths. I'm going to start out with the default view here in Blender and delete the main object and hit 7 on the numcad, numpad to flip into top view. And we're going to add a couple things. We're going to add under the curve options here a circle, a Bezier circle. Okay, and then we can move our 3D cursor over to the right a little bit, but stay in top view. And we're going to add a curve, Bezier curve. The next step is to make this Bezier curve provide the profile that will be rotated around this circle. A little bit counterintuitively on this, you actually select the circle first to do this, and then go over into properties for your curve of that circle, and set the bevel object to be the Bezier curve. This is the hardest part to remember, that you select the circle that you want to rotate around first, and then assign the path as the uh, object that's associated to it under bevel object. So what we've just done now is we've taken this path and spun it around this circle. So to manipulate that farther and be able to adjust the actual shape that's getting generated around that circle, the easiest thing to do is to split the window into two so that we can actually go ahead and zoom in on this right side and flip with notepad one to the front view so that we can, as we adjust the path, we'll be able to see this shape changing. Okay, so over here on this other window, I'm going to zoom in over here too and <clears throat> center myself Mostly on the path is actually what I'm concerned with in this view, and I'm going to watch the effect that modifying the path has on my shape. If you hit tab, you can go into edit mode for this Bezier curve, and in here is where you can actually grab the points. There are currently two control points for this path, one at each end, and each point has two handles. If you grab the handle just to start and lift up, making this curve bigger or go higher, if you will, you can see on the right side panel as I do that, the shape is changing. And by adjusting that path, you can see the effect that changing the path has on the shape. Okay, so let's drop that down right there, and let's look at other couple of things that we can do as we want to modify the shape a little more. We could select one of the paths, or one of the points at the end of the path, and hit the E key to extrude out a new additional point. And you can see that depending on where that point lives in space, you'll end up with uh, new, new shapes being generated over in your right view. You can then also grab a point, and just with the G key to move it, you can move that point and drop it somewhere else, and grab another point and move it, and there we go, we got a shape kind of a more complicated shape now, generated with this path spun around this circle to make this shape. Uh, you can add additional points if you need to by clicking a point and extruding out and making another more complicated shape here. And then another skill that's useful to have is to select two points. So I just shift click this point and this point and hit the W key to subdivide. What that's gonna do is give you a third point now that is in between where the first two were. So in, in other words, to add a point between two existing points, select both of them with shift, and then hit the W key and subdivide the path to add an intermediary one. Okay, another useful tool when you're working with these is to hit V. V sets the handle type, and automatic basically will make it curvy, and V vec uh, for vector will just make it into a straight point with a straight edge. So if you quickly want to make your entire path be made up primarily of straight edges, you can select all of your points, hit the V key, and choose vector, and you'll basically snap everything to straight edges. Then you can grab an individual point that you want to be curved and take the handles for that point and adjust the incoming curve to match exactly the shape that you're looking for for the curve at that point in the path. Uh, basically modifying your handles, adding handles with E, and using W to subdivide and add additional control points in between two existing points allows you to extrude and revolve and make complicated shapes using these Bezier tools.